Hate crimes don't happen very often here in the mountains, but when they do, it's striking. Earlier this year, a burning cross appeared in Haywood County, and that's not the only case in our area. Tonight, in a special report, News 13's Rex Hodge looked into these crimes still working their way through the justice system. At first, I was just like, it's whatever, and then I was just like, no, this actually is kind of serious. Last May, Kate Nolan was 14 and staying at a friend's house in Haywood County, never expecting a burning cross to be placed in the yard directed at her. She's 15 now and comes from a biracial family. It upset my family, which when they get upset, that kind of upsets me. It didn't take long for the sheriff's office to make arrests. Four teens on charges of placing a cross with the intent to intimidate. Ben Green, Matthew Mitchell, Brandon Kersey, and an unnamed juvenile. All four attend Tuscola High School with Nolan. Ben Green, number 25, playing football. I don't think that that's very fair. I mean, because if I was to mess up, I couldn't play basketball or I couldn't run track. Haywood schools are following state education protocol, but many in the black community think Green's community service and a brief suspension weren't enough. Well, 20% of 10 is two. Right. <laughs> so you missed two games. I yeah. talked Alvin Forney is part of a group called Changemakers. The thing that really irked me about the whole thing, uh, the last cross burning, was they said, uh, oh, it was just a little cross. It's a four foot cross. A little, you know, that relative. Was it supposed to be 20 feet tall to be to have any intimidation factor? But overall, he says he's pleased with how the sheriff's office handled the case. It was offensive to us, so you know we're gonna we're gonna uh, treat it very seriously. Detective James Marsh says hate crimes are rare in Haywood County. I think the last time we had any kind of ra racially motivated incident was 15 years ago. They just judge very easily. But if you're Kate Nolan and you're the target of racial intimidation, it hurts. Um, I think it's because people like around here are very close minded. She says change makers is helping to change the way some people think. It opens like people to come to those meetings and it opens up their minds. Some minds remain closed. A little over a year ago, a fire broke out here in Clay County near the Georgia state line. Back then, this used to be a convenience store run by a Sikh Indian. It was determined to be arson. Some suspected it was a hate crime. Pictures taken by the Clay County Progress show the damage inside and a message of hate on the outside. They had the, the graffiti on, on the right hand side of the building and part of the windows. Specifically, it said 9-11 go home. Clay County investigators Investigator Todd Wingate says whoever did this remains at large, forcing the father and son who ran the store out of the area, mistaking them as Muslims. Hate crimes are wrong. I mean, just in general, people are people and everyone deserves their own kind of respect for their religion and their culture. People on the streets of Hayesville say tolerance comes from learning. Education, because um, the people at that convenience store weren't even a part, I mean, they're not even Arab. And that's they just and they just assume they were because of how they look. Those that perpetuate these kinds of uh, criminal acts may feel most threatened uh, by the people that they're in fact acting out against. Western Carolina University criminologist Albert Kopak says prejudice is most often learned from family and friends. He says nationally hate crimes have been going down since 2009, but more than half are not reported. When they are, we pay close attention. Uh, they're hugely public. Uh, they're enormous in magnitude because of the threat that they have on entire communities. The Change Makers group sees the cross burning case as a chance to erase that threat. Let's go ahead and melt in and forget about he doesn't look like me, so I'm going to turn my back on him. I'm going to make him look like he's invisible. Come on, y'all. We're living in a world right now where everything's mixed together and nothing's segregated anymore, so like we all just need to come together as like a whole because we're no different than anybody else. In Haywood County, Rex Hodge, News 13. The official numbers may show hate crimes declining, but Western Carolina's Albert Kopak says they're often underreported by to police by minorities and ethnic groups for fear of discrimination.